Hi, and welcome to American Printer TV. I'm Tamir Ferlansky. And I'm John Hamilton. Together, we'll get you up to speed with the latest in the industry. There's some big news out of Xerox, and we'll have all the details on a new venture with on-demand books. And we are a few short weeks away from Graphics of the Americas. We'll tell you what's going on in Miami Beach. But you all know the drill by now. First, here's a look at our top stories. Avanti celebrates 25 years. Adobe discontinues its service provider program. And one commercial printer tackles an extreme makeover. This cast is proudly brought to you by NAPL Top Management Conference 2010. Let's get down to business. It's quite the partnership. Xerox and On Demand Books will jointly market and sell the Xerox 4112 copier printer together with the Espresso Book Machine around the world. It's a fully integrated solution that prints, binds, and trims books with full color covers on demand in retail locations and libraries. The Espresso Book Machine can produce paperbacks in variable combinations of trim sizes for a production cost of less than one cent per page. And it's fast. It can print a 300-page book in less than four minutes and has the capacity to print more than 40,000 paperback books per year. Dane Neller, CEO of On Demand Books, is looking forward to working with Xerox, saying their solutions, industry leadership, innovative printing technology, and worldwide sales and marketing footprint will help us reach our goal providing book enthusiasts fast and affordable access to millions of digital titles in multiple languages. The Espresso Book Machine uses ExpressNet to connect to a vast network of 3.3 million approved titles. The software tracks all jobs and provides payments to publishers while content owners retain full rights and control of their digital files. What better way to celebrate your 25th anniversary than with style? Avanti Computer Systems did just that, inviting customers, friends, and family to visit them in their new offices. The theme of the party was Cajun, as the company ramps up for their next user conference this March in New Orleans. Avanti got its start back in 1984, right around the time the IBM PC and Microsoft DOS operating systems were introduced, two technologies that revolutionized the computing industry. Founder Dr. Richard Whalen was listening to a friend complain about how difficult it was to put together accurate, consistent estimates for print jobs. Requirements were scoped out on the back of a napkin, and the original code was programmed at Dr. Whalen's dining room table on a PC. 25 years later, Avanti remains completely focused on software for the printing industry. The company's software now has over 1.5 million lines of code and includes over 35 modules and over 20 JDF integrations into third-party applications and equipment. Well, it's time now to take a quick commercial break. When we come back, a new offering from Hamilton Printing Company. NAPL's Top Management Conference 2010 is your one-stop resource for education, information, and great networking. Featuring keynote speaker Jeff Threadgold, Andy Paparossi's State of the Industry Report, and the Best in Business Awards. This year's event takes place February 14th to 17th at the stunning Marco Island Marriott Resort, Golf Club, and Spa. For details, log on to www.napl2010.com. We'll see you there. Welcome back. A new chapter has started for book printer Hamilton Printing Company, no relation to me, from Castleton, New York. The company is adding digital book manufacturing to its services for initial runs, reprints, and short runs. Rick Dunn, vice president of manufacturing, says the book manufacturing industry is changing quickly for the times. We have been serving publishers and university presses for almost 100 years. Hamilton Printing understands the importance of being nimble, flexible, and aware of the times. Short-run digital printing is becoming common for publishers, and now we'll be able to service our customers for the entire life cycle of a book. Hamilton Printing recently purchased a new standard Horizon BQ 470P UR automated four-clamp perfect binder and an HT70 inline three-knife trimmer. The firm also added a Xerox Nuvera 288 digital printer to round out its short-run book production when paired with its existing Xerox iGen 3 four-color digital press. For more on Hamilton Printing, visit www.hbcbook.com. Partners no more. Thanks to membership decline, Adobe is discontinuing the worldwide Adobe Partner Connection Print Service Provider Program 
effective February 4th. John Giles, a consultant with C-Print International, says, I'm sorry to see Adobe end this program. Over the years, it has been an excellent way for quick and small commercial printers to keep current with the latest Adobe software and help Adobe support their consumer customers. I understand it is a business decision. I have promoted the program over the years and was always surprised by the small number of participants. Adobe says it will continue to work closely with current program members. Giles is confident Adobe will still be able to offer its high level of support, saying printers can learn about the applications at Adobe's website and get answers on the Adobe forums. Adobe has a number of vehicles to get information into the hands of users and I expect those to continue to be strong. This is the second program to be discontinued in recent months because of lack of printer participation. Microsoft ended its publisher service provider program last year. Didn't make it to the Print09 show? The next stop on the show calendar is Graphics of the Americas, being held February 25th through the 27th in Miami Beach, Florida. Celebrating its 35th anniversary, GOA recently announced that an all-star lineup of exhibitors has signed up to be part of one of the largest annual combined exposition and education events in the United States. There are close to 200 exhibitors to date, including HP, Press Tech, and X-Rite. Heidelberg and Adobe are hosting special bonus sessions, while educational sessions covering virtually every facet of technology, strategy, and management are offered. George Ryan, president of GOA, says upwards of 9,500 qualified printing professionals come to GOA to view the latest industry products and services and to compare, evaluate, and make purchasing decisions. Our 2010 show offers a diverse exhibitor base combined with cutting-edge education sessions offered in both English and Spanish. There really is something for everyone this year, and it's not to be missed. For the sixth year in a row, GOA will participate in the International Buyers Program. This increases international attendance, helping U.S. exhibitors capitalize on the overseas purchasing power. 60% of GOA attendees come from across the U.S., while 40% travel worldwide from Mexico, South America, Central America, and Canada. Get the full details about this year's show at GOA2010.com. Every week, millions of people tune into Extreme Makeover Home Edition. On a recent episode, Springfield, Missouri sign printer Enprint Graphics had a chance to showcase what it can do as the official printing sponsor of the popular ABC TV show. Before the bus even moved an inch, a lot of work had to be done. Enprint Graphics CEO John Fugit just started using a new HP DesignJet Z3200 photo printer when Extreme Makeover Home Edition came to town. John got in touch with the show's producers and interior designers to discuss interesting wide format inkjet projects that can be used inside a house. The Extreme Home Makeover team was thrilled to have Enprint's donations, including printing more than 150 family photos on the HP DesignJet Z3200 with HP Media. From producing a large canvas map in sepia tone for an Egyptian-themed room on the Z3200, to wrapping eight Gibson guitars in graphics printed on HP Cytex XL1500 5-meter printer. They made custom wallpaper looking like sand dunes and wrapped a desk like a pyramid. Enprint's graphics produced all of the banners and the signage for the tents and activities taking place outside of the home. John and his team provided technical support to help the show's host, Ty Pennington, explain how these jobs were done. John says it was a great experience he definitely would do again, and in fact, Enprint is involved in more upcoming Extreme Makeover Home Edition projects already. We just wanted to thank those who took the time to vote in last cast poll. We got quite the response. So far, it looks like Graph Expo is the hot draw this year. And we want to remind everyone out there to not be shy. Feel free to send us feedback and story suggestions by clicking on the Contact Us tab right up there. We look forward to hearing from you, and we'll see you next time.